Hello. <clears throat> Good evening. Hello, Israel. Good evening, Gilberto. Hello, hello everyone. Gilberto, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. <clears throat> well, welcome everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good hello, evening, teacher. Israel. I see Danny is coming in. Hello, Rebecca. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's see. Many of you will be listeners today. So I hope the ones that are not listeners can participate as much as possible. <clears throat> Hello, Danny. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. Gabriela is coming in. Hello, Gabriela. Hi, Gabby. <laughs> 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 are you at a park, Danny? It looks like you are at a park. Uh, no, it's my garden. Ah, okay, okay. Great. That must be relaxing. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Um uh I go no I go my house. No, come on, sister. No, I arrive my, my house. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, you just arrived to your house. Yes. Okay. Acaba de llegar. That's what you mean. Sí. Okay, so yeah, you say I just arrived home. I just uh, I arrived home. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to write it here in the chat. I just arrived home. Acabo de llegar a casa. 
María Leticia, hello, good evening. Lady, welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Well, I think we have almost everybody here today. Um, although some of you will be listeners, uh, we'll try to make the class as lively as possible, okay? Um, well, this is our session number three, yes? Um, and well, um, first I would like to, okay, I'm going to do something here. Uh, can you see the reactions, the reactions button, everybody? you know where they where it is right so if you click on if you click on the little dots si, si dan click en los puntitos van a ver muchos más emojis ahí okay so i need you to tell me how you are today answer the question how are you okay but i need you to choose a, an emoji or a reaction for example, my reaction for today would be this one. This is my reaction. Okay, I'm feeling cool today. <laughs> okay, Danny is feeling cool too. Israel, I couldn't see. Yeah, good to say. Okay, Israel, you're feeling like you don't want to speak? <laughs> no, I'm speechless because the traffic of San Salvador today. Oh yeah, I imagine with the with uh the streets closed, right? Today in the afternoon. Yes, and... almost of the street were closed. Yes. Fortunately, I didn't have to leave that because I I I was around San Salvador. I was driving around San Salvador in the morning but afternoon i am i've been home so i was lucky but yeah it's payday and with the streets closed i i imagine gilberto what does that mean gilberto what does your reaction mean are you tired are you sad Gilberto, are you sad? No, teacher, este, uh, one mistake. Ah, it was a mistake. Error. What is your sí, reaction? <laughs> happy. <laughs> you are happy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Roberto is happy. Let's see someone else. Maria Leticia. Mm, I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> it's like it's relief, relieved, 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 aliviado. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, relieved. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, well, good. Let's start talking about a, where we left yesterday, okay? And I ask you to check the the link. I don't know if you could check it, if you had the chance to check the link for the article. Let me open it here. Because to start, I would like us to share some vocabulary from the article, okay? So let me see. Yeah, here it is, here it is. So first we're going to discuss this article, like some vocabulary, and then uh, we're going to start with the activities from the manual or the textbook, okay? So 
-hmm. Okay. Uh, so here is the article. I don't know. Did you check it? Who checked it? Raise your hand if you checked it. Did you check it? Rebecca, okay. Rebecca checked it. Somebody else? Okay, so we're going to ask Rebecca to share some words that she found in this article, okay? So could you share some words that you learned from the article? Uh, in my ca in my case, mm -hmm. uh, the word we uh, which um break my mind <laughs> broke my mind was <laughs> deuce. loose loose I think the pronunciation in the in the third. Uh, here or marketing situation, does ah, I think it is does does mm -hmm. because I have never listened that word before. Oh, okay, okay, does yeah does. Uh, this is this is a uh, we 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 use we call them connectors, okay? Because these are words that help us connect one idea with the other, okay? So, and in this case, it's like adding information or like an explanation to the previous idea. That is the purpose, okay? Um, so that's what does means, like you are adding information or you are explaining something, like giving more explanation about something. Okay. The pronunciation is very similar like that's the the auxiliary yes that's true mm -hmm. thus is equal mm, no it's not the same because um these these two letters the th are pronounced like thus thus okay so basically you need to Put you put your tongue between your teeth, okay? Thus. And in the case of thus, your tongue doesn't go out, okay? It stays inside, like basically behind your teeth, your front teeth, okay? Thus. It looks the same. I mean, they sound very similar, but they have there is a difference. <laughs> that okay. is in, yes. In in uh, by the way, yes, the context is is what make make us to know what word mm -hmm. we are we are speaking exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, this and is mm -hmm. another word was float float floated float in the next um the product revenue and profits can be plotted ah plotted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can be plotted yes in this case uh, this is um it's a synonym of a uh, illustrate illustrated like they can be illustrated in a graphic so plot or plotted is a synonym of illustrating some data, some statistics into a graphic, like what you see here, for example, right? How it increases and then it decreases, etc. So that's plotted. Mm -hmm. It can be plotted, it will be a synonym of it can be illustrated or it can be represented Okay, represented in a graphic. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Where, where? Eh, another word. <laughs> yes. Was 
uh, in the stage, introduction stage. Ajá. Award, awareness. Awareness, awareness. maybe. Mm -hmm. Awareness, okay. Awareness. Just give me one second. I'm going to be adding the, the well, I, I'm going to add them in the chat probably because it's easier for like in this, if I do it here when I when I change screens, it will delete. So let me do something here. Give me a second. Um, so the ones that you mentioned so far are thus and plotted, right? So I'm going to write them here. Actually, Israel just um posted the word thus. So it okay, it is a connector that helps to add extra explanation to the idea. Okay, that's the meaning of thus. And then we have the, the word plotted, plot. Wait, plot. It represent in represent through oops through a um graphic okay that is plot okay what else did you say Rebecca what other words a uh, aware awareness Awareness, okay, where is awareness? Let's see. Oh my. In the uh, introduction stage. Uh -huh. Ah, here, okay. The firm seeks to build product awareness, okay? Product awareness. Um. Okay, in this context, with to if we use it together with product, let's let's define it that way. Product awareness. It means um, familiarity of the public related to oops related to the product, like how familiar. A, the product is for the public, okay? That is public, uh, sorry, product awareness, okay? When there are several strategies that uh, in this case, the advertising or the marketing um, strategy is trying to, to develop in order to make people know the product, right? That is product awareness. Make, make people know the product, make people be familiar with the product, okay? Okay, the article, well, actually the article goes over each of the stages and it provides a, a little bit of more information than what you have in the textbook, okay? So for example, in each uh, stage, you see that there is product, pricing, distribution, and promotion. So like what happens with these four aspects uh, in each stage, right? For example, about the product, what happens to the product? What happens to the pricing in the introduction stage or the growth stage or the maturity stage or the decline stage? Okay, so it's interesting um, to see what happens in each, each stage with each of these aspects, right? As I mentioned, product, pricing, distribution, and promotion. Okay, well, we already checked some vocabulary. Thank you, Rebecca. And um, now we're going to go ahead and work with our topic for today, which is, okay, in this case, the, the, the objective is to learn how to use would rather. If you remember yesterday, 
we talked about would rather, right? In the conversation, we found this example, okay? We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. And some of you asked me what it means, right? So do you remember what it means? Like prefer. Preferiría. Okay. It's a synonym of prefer, yes. Mm -hmm. And you use it with wood, which gives it that idea of uh, like when you when you make a wish, right? Like when you express a wish, something that is not real yet. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, express preferences or wishes, okay? That is what we use it for. Uh, and that is the meaning. Very good. So let's start by checking this material here, the first uh, chart you see. Okay, and we have examples, okay? We have these examples. Uh, so we have the use, as we already said, that is to, is used to express preference, right? And also um, we have examples on how to build a sentence using this expression, would rather. So what, how, do, how do you build a sentence using would rather? Well, First you have the word would rather, the phrase would rather. Then you have, after would rather, what do you what do you have? The base form. The base form. That means that it doesn't matter. I mean, here we don't pay attention if it is the present, the present perfect, the past, the future, the present continuous, etc. No. Every time we use would rather, the, the verb is in base form, okay? Meaning that we don't conjugate the verb, okay? Eso es lo que significa base form. Que el verbo no está conjugado, okay? En ningún tiempo verbal. Okay. Um, and the other way to write it is contracted right? Abbreviated, okay? Or contracted. So we, we contract it by adding apostrophe D only, okay? So in this case, we have they, they'd rather instead of they would rather. We'd rather instead of we would rather. Okay, so this is the contraction. We use apostrophe D, right? Okay, let's let's read these examples. Um, well, let me see. Danny, Danny, help me read the first two examples, please. Uh, okay, sure. Mining companies will rather withdraw the product now. We will rather relaunch the product than discontinue. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's practice again the expression, Danny. Would, would rather, would rather. Would rather, would rather. Okay, would. And when we say would, everybody, let's make, let's, let's be careful that we don't um, get, Confused with good, okay? As a synonym of, sorry, the opposite of bad, good. We say good for uh, this, the, the opposite of bad and wool, wool with, in this case, the, the moral, the moral wool, wool, wool and good. I don't know if, do you notice the difference? In the sound? Yes, yes teacher. It okay. is good, the good, the bien. Uh -huh. Good, good. Good, good. Uh -huh. Este wood es, debe sonar un poco más como que fuera eh, como tirando a B. Okay? 
como tirando a la, al sonido que hacemos con la B. Good, good. Y el otro es más fuerte, es good, good. Ok. Um, well, let's see. Uh, Leticia, are you there? Let's, let's read the, the other two, which in this case are contracted. They rarer withdraw the product, you know. Mm -hmm. With with rarer relaunch the product than discontinued. Okay, okay. Um, I think we need to practice. I don't know if this is for everybody, but if you think that you need to practice, you can repeat on your own. Okay. okay. Uh, Rather, 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 ok, rather, todos rather. los que tengan problemas de pronunciación, que sientan que, que les, se les dificulta una palabra cuando yo la pronuncio, ustedes la practican solitos, no, si quieren abren el micrófono y si no, no, pero el punto es que siempre que hagamos la práctica de pronunciación, la hagamos todos para que eh, el sonido, pues, vayamos como interiorizando el, el sonido correcto, ¿ok? Ok. Um, ok, so let's see. Eh, we also have another variation, ¿ok? And in this case, we can add the, the word match, ¿ok? You, so, when do we use... When do we add match? For example, it says, use will match rather for a stronger preference, okay? So, um, especially for example, when someone is trying to imagine, uh, Leticia is inviting me to eat pupusas, right? And I say, no, Leticia, I would, I would rather go to eat, um, I would rather just take coffee. And Leticia is insisting and insisting that we go for pupusas. And I said, mm, I'm, I'd much rather, I'd much rather go to have some coffee. Okay. So I am trying to be like very strong in my preference saying that I don't want to go, okay? Uh, so this expression, much rather, is like you really, really prefer to do something else, okay? Something different. I don't know if, if that is clear for everybody. Is it clear when we use much rather? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay, very good. And also, it's important to remember that this form is more common in speaking than in writing. Okay. Um, and we have some examples here. So let's see if we can ask Gabriela. Gabriela, can you read the these examples we have? The the first two, okay? The first line, please. Okay, teacher. This is something went wrong with the art in the levels of product. It it much rather hire in a different designer. Okay. In this case, because it's about the, the subject is I, right? I'd much rather I. Uh -huh. I'd much rather, I'd much rather hire a different designer. Okay, because the, the this, if you notice in this example, we are using much rather because the designer made a mistake. It says something went wrong with the art in the labels of the product. Okay, I don't know if everybody is familiar with the word label. Do we understand this word, label? I don't, teacher. Okay. okay. Let me see if I have 
Mm, okay. For example, okay, this is my this is my Ay, no se ve por el fondo, permítanme. Oh, ahí está. Okay, this is my wallet. Do you notice that you can see the brand name of the wallet? That is the label. Okay, that is the label. The label is usually the, sometimes it's a sticker, Sometimes it is printed in the into the package uh, where you see the brand, okay? The brand of the product. So that's a label, okay? In this case, uh, because the designer made a mistake in the art of the labels, then uh, I can say, I'd much rather hire a different designer, okay? So my preference, for a different designer is a strong, right? Because I don't want uh, to have another mistake with this, right? Okay, let's see. Um, let's, let me ask somebody else to read the second. Gilberto, Gilberto, can you read this second example, please? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Green, tortricas, canon, Cannot be compete with the low price of the other chip with much rather, much rather, rather, uh, rather, teacher. Rather, rather. rather. Yes. With the much rather lower our price. Okay, our price, our price. Our price. Mm hmm. Okay, so again, in this case, there is an uh, a situation that where you need to, um, you really need to to do something else, right? So, um, there is a problem with the price of your competitors. So, in this case, your your preference for changing or lowering the price is a strong, right? So that's why you say, we'd much rather lower our price in order to compete, right? If you don't lower the price, you cannot compete. So that's why they are using with much rather. Remember, when you use much, the preference is a stronger, okay? That is the difference here. Okay, any questions so far about the use of would rather or the use of would much rather? Based on the examples we have? No? Okay. okay. Now. No. Okay. Now, uh, let me. Okay. We're going to do something here with a, for practicing this structure. Okay. I'm going to. I need you to think of a question, okay? Because remember, this is about expressing differences, sorry, preferences, okay? So let's see. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you an example here of this type of questions that we make in order to practice this uh, expression. For example, would you rather Okay, the general question is this. What would you like to be doing right now? What would you like to be doing right now? And I'm gonna ask the question. Would you rather be um, watching TV? Okay, <laughs> can you answer the question, please? <laughs> okay, first I have this question. What would you like to be doing right now? Okay, in general. And then I say, would you rather be watching TV than 
Okay, I'm gonna ask see, here. Then participating in the class. <laughs> okay. Aha. What do you say? Yes or no? Let's answer this question. Would you rather be watching than participating in the class? Yes. <laughs> Rael is very honest. Okay. Okay. Another. Uh, another. I, I would much. I would. I would much rather uh, be watching TV. Wow, Danny, I like the way you said. I would much rather. Okay, let's use it contracted. I'd ma I'd much rather be watching TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, this is my example. Now I need you to think of other examples. Okay, you can just ask the question like. The second, would you rather, okay, would you rather, um, for example, would you rather eat salad every day or um, or pizza every day, okay? Something like that. So try to um, think of two options, okay? Follow my example, please. Um, and uh, then we share, we, we're going to ask the questions to somebody else. So think of at least two questions, please. I'm gonna give you some time for you to think of two questions, okay? Using would rather. Would you rather, okay? And then you have two choices. Or I don't know, do you need more examples? Teacher, just a question. Uh -huh. When you use rather than much rather, and the second one means the preference is stronger than the, than the first one. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this case, I, I use much rather because that is what a... a that is what Danny said, okay? He said, I'd much rather be watching TV. Mm -hmm. My question was, would you rather? But then he answered with, I'd much rather. Mm -hmm. And definitely- This is my idea. This is pretty strong my idea. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, so let's make our two uh, questions, please. Using a would you rather, remember it's a preference. You can talk about, in this case it's in general, it doesn't have to be about the product or everything we have been discussing, but it could be like, you know, doing for example activities, a, like on the weekend, for example, if you decide to stay at home or if you want, if you go out, or um, when you go on vacation, if you prefer to go to the beach or the mountain, or like if you prefer to live in the city rather than in the countryside, things like that, okay? Okay, so let's take um, two minutes to create our questions. And when you have them ready, you're going to choose a classmate to ask your questions, okay? So one question for one classmate and another question for another classmate. So let's see, we have two minutes starting now, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know.
Peki. De... La, la estructura eh, Would you can, Would you raise the run Morning or By the morning Or by the afternoon Yes mm -hmm. It's okay, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay uh, in this case, Danny, it would be, would you rather run in the morning or in the afternoon? Mm Okay, I don't know if everybody's ready or do you need more time? Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, very good, Gilberto. But you need to make a question, Gilberto, like my example, because you need to ask this question to a partner, to a classmate, okay? Es una pregunta. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready? Not yet, I guess. <laughs> I see Julio is here. Hello, Julio. I haven't passed the attendance. Okay, and in the meantime, I'm going to pass the attendance. Mientras terminan, okay? So let me see, let me see. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm going to check the attendance right now. So, Danny Anthony, Siwensa Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Hola. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Jose Andres Martinez Perez, as a listener. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz is the listener today. Eh, María Leticia Raligueño González. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Mauricio is a listener, I think. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Here, teacher. Okay. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Is a listener today. Yes, and teacher. Okay. Are you not a listener anymore? <laughs> yes, I, I I am a listening, but okay. I have a little problem. Okay. Rolando Danilo Sanchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Okay. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Is the listener, I guess. Let me check if she's here. Mm 
-hmm. Ok, thank you. Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok, um, I'm going to say this in Spanish, just so everything is clear. Eh, en la medida, yo sé que en algunos casos cuando estamos de oyente no por diferentes razones no podemos encender la cámara pero los que estamos de participantes si no tenemos algún problema con nuestra camarita les sugiero que la abran siempre para que no vayamos a tener algún problema ¿verdad? así que recordando nuevamente esa regla que tenemos en el programa con esa forma Okay, um, so let's see what we have. Some of you are posting your examples in the chat. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. <clears throat> okay, Julio, Julio got some questions here. Um, would you rather be a player soccer or a singer? Okay. Would you rather have the ability to fly or be invisible if given a superpower? Okay, that's a good question. Well, both are good questions. Okay, so I would like you to please uh, choose someone to, to ask the question to, okay? So let's start with Gilberto. Gilberto, who are you going to ask your question to? Okay, one moment. You need to choose a classmate. For example, Julio, for example, Lady, for example, Danny. You need to choose, select a classmate. Not ready yet? We can continue with someone else, okay? Después le preguntamos. Okay, mm -hmm. okay let me see Danny. Mm, I, I choose uh, my partner. Who? I, I choose uh, my, my partner. Yes, you need to choose your partner. Mm -hmm. um, Andres Martinez. I think he's a listener today, um, Danny. Is Gabriela Granadena? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the question? Uh, is a uh, would you rather sleep that that be taken in the class? <laughs> I be taken in the class. Okay. After or before the class? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, <laughs> in this moment. <laughs> yes, I'm ready uh, for a sleep uh, uh, 10 p.m. after class. Uh, ah, okay. okay. After class. Listen. After class. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Not before class, right? Very good. Yeah, for you, Gabriela. Good. <laughs> okay, great. So, okay, now, Gabriela, do you have your question? Ask someone, please. Um, My partner, lady. Hola, lady. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Gabi. Hi, lady. <laughs> well, my question for you is the, um, can you take a shower in the morning or after do you work? Um, both in the morning and after um, the gym. After the gym. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Well, in this case, Gabriela, uh, try to use the expression would rather. Okay. So would you rather take a shower in the morning than... I mean, here you remember that we use then or um, because we are offering choice. 
then we can use or. Would you rather take a shower in the morning or in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. Or like that. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then lady answers, I would rather, I would rather take it uh, both, right? You said in the morning and after the gym, okay? Good. When do you go to the gym? What time do you go to the gym? At night or in the morning? At night. Okay. Before class? Um, before, before class. Uh, sería... What time? Like seven, six, five? Uh, four. Four. At Ah, okay. At four. Okay. Now, your question for who? Lady? Mm -hmm. Rebecca Cardona. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. Would you rather be cooking than washing clothes? Okay. I I would rather washing clothes. I would rather wash clothes, okay? Yes. I would rather wash clothes. Mm -hmm. Because I don't like to cook. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. Great. Okay, now it's your turn, Rebecca. You ask the question to a classmate that you choose. Um, maybe Gilberto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gilberto, would you rather drink coffee than drink a milkshake? Uh, I would write there mirror in the morning i would rather drink the milkshake in the morning. Yes. Uh -huh. in the morning okay the 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 word uh, rebecca uses milkshake. milkshake milkshake okay like banana milkshake um strawberry milkshake what do you like Banana, banana, banana chew, uh, milkshake, or pineapple, or spinach milkshake. No, 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 right? That is not milkshake. That is like okay, only what? a shake. <laughs> no, I pre <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I would rather banana milkshake. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, Gilberto, are you ready? With your question. Okay, uh, Rolando. Okay, the question is for Rolando. Mm -hmm. Rolando okay, Don Gilberto. Uh, <laughs> would, would you rather uh, working every day in the house, in, in your house? Yes, uh, I go rather. In work in my house, I clean the, my house in the morning. Okay, okay. In this case, Gilberto, the question would be, would you rather work at home or at from home? home? Mm -hmm. Would you rather work from home than traveling to, to your work? Okay like to an office or something. Would you rather work at home or from home? At mm -hmm. home. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then for Rolando, the answer could be, uh, yes, I would rather uh, work from home. And you mentioned that you, that you would like to be a, a homemaker. Homemaker is like a synonym of housewife. Like we say housewife, housewife is usually for women, 
but when we talk about men and women, we can say homemaker, homemaker for both men and women. Homemaker is like when you clean, when you cook, when you do the dishes, when you uh, do the laundry, everything that you do in the house. Making, so, okay. Yeah, I'm going to write it here in the chat. Home. I am expert in homemakers. Really, Danny? Homemaker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great, great. Men and women need to be homemaker because it's a survival skill, right? The field is, is uh, I do my clean. You don't clean, so you're not a good homemaker. You're a bad homemaker <laughs> because you don't clean. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, Rolando, your question. Okay. Uh, Don Gilberto. Okay. Uh, choose okay. somebody else because Gilberto has already answered. Uh, the other. Rafael, Julio. Let me see who hasn't participated. Leticia. Oh, Leticia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's ready. Yes. Okay. Would you rather to cook uh, for dinner? Okay, but you need to give her another choice. Would you rather cook dinner or, or you can use Dan? Ah, okay. Oh, Dan, uh, the morning. Mm. Ah, okay, okay. I see your, your idea. So, would you rather cook? Would you rather to cook or cook? No, just cook, okay? Cook. Because the verb is in base form, yes. Would you, okay. rather... Would you rather cook for dinner? Aha, uh -huh. but you said then in the morning. Would you rather yeah. cook in the morning or for dinner? Or oh, for dinner, of uh, yeah, mm -hmm. i rather cooking in the in the morning. Okay, i rather cook in the morning. Mm -hmm. Remember the verb is not conjugated, it's in base form. So base form. Okay. I'd rather cook in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Leticia, did you ask your question? Not yet, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Who are you going to ask? Oh. Ah, quien falta? <laughs> <laughs> we have Israel and Julio. Okay, Julio. Okay. What? No. Yeah. Um, would you would, rather? Would you rather visit the beach or the mountain? Very good. Mm -hmm. I am rather to I rather go to the beach. 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 Mm -hmm. Beach. I'd rather beach. go to the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Julio, your question is for Israel. Okay. Israel. Uh, would you rather to be a player soccer or be a singer? Oh, okay. I would rather be a uh, player soccer. Thank you. Okay. Much than much than a singer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can ask also which team would you rather be a, a soccer player in? Which team? Israel? Uh, which team? Oh, I'm sorry. Um 
well, local uh, Aila. Okay. For Aguila. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, um, I don't know if there was any any difficulty for some of you with the use of would rather. I think we are not missing anybody, right? From the ones who are participating. No? Okay. So my question is, do you have any did you have any difficulty with the use of would rather? Do you have any question? No? Maybe? Okay. Um, teacher, teacher, sorry, a question. Yes, Julio? Um, when you, when we use, uh, would you rather? Mm -hmm. um, okay, the bear, uh, the next, the bear uh, is with a uh, two or, or only the bear. Uh, an example, well, uh, in my first question, uh -huh. um, would you rather to be a player soccer or would you rather uh, be a player soccer? No, it's only B. It's only the base form. Uh -huh. okay. Base form is only the verb. Cuando usted dice to be, eh, that is infinitive. Okay, infinitive. Base form is only the verb, no, no other word. Okay, the, the syntax of um, would you rather is without the uh, two. Exactly. Yes. Let's let's go back to the um, the rule here. See, would In rather plus base form of the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now, something I wanted to to clarify is that you guys were making questions where you have two choices. Remember. That's why I ask you to use or, okay? Like, for example, would you rather cook in the morning or in the afternoon, okay? In that case, you are giving uh, the choices because it's a question, okay? But you can also say, like in this case, we have then. That is the most common word that we use. Would you rather... Uh, be a soccer player than a singer. So both both uh, options are possible, okay? We can use or, or we can use them. Yes, Roberto, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. I have a question. Uh -huh. um, what is the for, for when you um, would rather, but I need to, to to make a negative sentences for for example um would you would you rather eat pizza or salad aha uh -huh. and the the answer in negative what is the form uh in negative we use we add not after rather for example i'd rather not eat pizza because it's too unhealthy. Okay, I rather not. Okay, I rather plus not. Yes, so the not goes after rather. Mm -hmm. Let me write um, an example here in my in my page. Mm -hmm. So from in the complete form, we will say, Okay, let me type here negative. Okay, in the complete form, we will say, I would rather not eat pizza. Sorry, eat pizza, okay? Oops, it's without eat, okay? Or if you want to make it contractive, right? Remember, you use I apostrophe D, <coughs> rather I don't know why it's okay it's, 
<laughs> so, like this, okay? Negative. The not goes after rather. Sorry, teacher, are, are you writing on word? Yes. Because I, I, I see the manual. Ah, give me a second. I'm sorry. I thought I was sharing my, my, my full screen. Let me see now. Now? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, yes. Mm -hmm. This is how we use negative. We use it in negative. I would rather not eat pizza or I rather not eat pizza. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. And the same happens if you add the match. Remember that we can use match for a stronger preference. So you can say, I rather match, I would much rather not eat pizza. So it's like, really strong okay teacher yes rebecca sorry uh, Go ahead. this answer is in case the question uh, were in negative form mm, yes like for example uh, roberto asked the question would you rather eat pizza than salad? Okay. And um, maybe, okay, I can say, I'd rather eat salad. I would rather, I'd rather not eat pizza because it's unhealthy. Okay, so I'm like providing an explanation of, of why I wouldn't choose pizza, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Anything else before we okay, we have an we have an activity in our manual, in our textbook, right? To continue practicing. So if you want, let's do that right now. And if you have more questions after the activity, we can talk about them. Okay. So well. Let's focus now on activity number five, okay? And the instruction says, order the words to create sentences. Compare your answers with a partner, okay? So uh, right now, everybody work individually, please. Um, do you have a notebook with you that you can write on? Okay, because these are scrambled sentences okay we need to organize them if you notice they are scrambled so we need to organize them okay remember the structure of the sentence is subject verb complement right so follow the examples you have here in the chart in order to uh, put together the sentences, organize the sentences, okay? Follow these examples. Subject, would rather, verb in base form, and complement, okay? So, um, well, let's take a few minutes in order to work on this individually. There are uh, five sentences that we need to put together. So I will give you five minutes, okay? And then we are going to work as a class to check the answers. I'm going to answer one for each. For example, I can say, Gilberto, can you give me number one, please? And Gilberto is going to write it in the chat and so on, okay? So we have five minutes, everybody. Are we clear on the instructions? Yes. Okay.
Okay, everyone, are we ready? Do we need more time? Okay, well, let's start and then uh, as we are progressing, if you are not done yet, we can help you out, okay? So let me see, I'm going to ask, okay, Gilberto, can you give me a number from one to five, please? Five. Five, okay. So we're going to count five people in the list and the number five in the list is going to ask, is going to uh, give us the first example, okay? So Gilberto, you are number one right now. Roberto is number two. Andres is number three. Danny is number four. And number five is Gabriela. Let's start with you, Gabriela. So, okay, teacher, indicate the question one. I would rather ask the manager a relaunch of the products to design the creative twin. The creative twin. Okay, Gilberto, thank you. But, okay. I asked you to give me a number and that number was five. So in this case, the person number five is Gabriela. <laughs> you already gave us a, an idea, but I would like Gabriela to also share her answer. Thank you, Gilberto. Gabriela, are you ready? No, teacher. I I don't I don't the 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 all the question I all the question yes but the answer I I I write into the uh, now <laughs> ah okay so who is ready with number one ya Gilberto nos dio una idea pero a ver quién la tiene completa teacher can I try Go ahead, Rebecca. Okay. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the that's the order, okay? So I'm going to write it here uh, for you guys. In case you don't have it yet, let's write it here. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product, okay? Give me one second. Let me see if we can make this smaller. Okay, the, the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Okay, clap for Rebecca, please. And also for Gilberto because he tried, okay? Well, let's check now number two. 
Okay, number two. I'm not gonna ask someone in particular because I don't know if you are ready, but I will be taking volunteers. So volunteer for number two. Teacher, uh, I have a question in the in the in the words the word rather much. No, it's not word much rather. No. Mm, I didn't understand, Danny. Can you repeat, please? Uh, en la parte de la segunda pregunta, en la última fila, donde dice word rather much. Uh -huh. Would much rather. Would much rather. Okay. Yes. In this case, you oh. need to you need to to organize that part too. And I see that you you paid attention to that. So yes, that's that's right. Would much rather. That's the correct order. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, lady, you want to participate? Go ahead. Um, Our product will rather much sell money distributors at a lower price. Okay, so our product will rather much would rather okay would much rather city would much rather this is what we were talking with with danny okay, okay. Our product would much rather sell money distributors at a lower price sell man sell Mm. Okay, give me one second because I it says okay, our product would much rather sell many distributors. Mm. Okay, uh, in this case, I think we need to correct the order, um lady, because remember that you start with the subject. In this case, you need to pay attention to Okay, the subject and the verb, do they match? No, in this case, they don't match because the product cannot sell, okay? The product mm -hmm. is sold, but it cannot sell. Who sells here? The distributors, right? So in this case, the subject is the distributor, distributors, okay? Mm -hmm. So it would be, let's just start again. Then, no, it says many, right? Many, many distributors. Distributors. Esta palabra es un poco difícil. Distributors. Distributors. Aparece una I. Distributors, distributors. Mm -hmm. But if you say it fast, it's distributors, distributors. Okay, many distributors. Uh huh. Will rather much sell at a lower price or product. Okay, would much rather sell. Mm -hmm. Our product at, at a lower price or product. Okay, in this case, we need to write product first because it's the is the direct object. Okay, sell product. Well, so, our product uh -huh. at a lower price. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, it it's makes a... more sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. At a lower uh, lower price. Lower price. Price. Okay. Thank you, Julio. Very good, okay. Mm -hmm. This is how it goes. 
right? Did we didn't miss anything? No, everything is here. So many distributors would much rather sell our product at a lower price. Mm -hmm. Would much rather sell our product at a lower price. Okay, good. Now we have a, the number three. Who, who wants to do the number three? Who is ready with the number three? Rebecca. Go ahead. Uh, they would rather withdraw. Uh -huh. uh, the product that then introduce it in new markets. Okay. They would rather withdraw. withdraw the product then introduce it in new markets okay in new markets very good great okay if you don't have it yet you can copy them from here, okay? Copy them from uh, what we are putting together with your classmates, please. So you have the completed exercise in your notebook, okay? Um, let's see, number four. Uh, is uh, many companies who ready would ready operate as a premium option once the product is in the client stage. Mm -hmm. Many companies, okay. Would ready operate. I feel like it doesn't make sense, but I mean, the structure is okay. Many companies would operate would rather operate as a premium as a premium option once the product is in the client stage is Okay. I don't have it. I mean, the, the, the grammar is okay, but in terms of the idea, I don't find it that coherent. <laughs> but that is something that is related to, to marketing, right? Um, many companies would rather operate as a premium option. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense to me, <laughs> like, you know, the coherence of the idea, but the grammar is, is okay. This is the correct order, okay? Um, great, Danny, thank you. Okay, now, number five. Let's see who wants to do it. Volunteers, final round. Can I try, teacher? Rebecca, okay. I'm not okay. sure if it's correct, but uh -huh. I think is many more companies will rather become a, the low cost provider of a product with great with great caution about price wars. Okay, mm -hmm. makes sense. So we start with um let me see, let me see. Mm, the loss was provided of a product. Finish? Finish? Um, 
Hello? I don't know. For me, it is... Or rather. Many more companies uh, would rather become with great uh, caution about price wars, the low the low cost provider of a product. Mm, no. It doesn't make no because remember that after would rather. Okay, you have would rather become. So you cannot put together would rather become with great caution because this expression with great caution is not a okay you have the word the verb become what do you use after become you need a noun for example i became a i became an employee at this company yesterday i became a Mm, I became a teacher uh, two years ago. So you need a noun after the word become, you need a noun. So it doesn't make sense if you use it together with great caution. Okay? Okay, it's a compliment. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so many more, let's, let's put it together. Many more companies, many more companies would rather become the low cost provider Would rather become the low cost provider, low cost provider of a product with great, okay, of a product with great caution about price wars, right? Price wars. Okay, so this is how it will be complete. It will be organized. Many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product with great caution about price words. So just to make sure that we understand the idea in the sentence or the ideas in the sentence, in this case, uh, we are saying that for some companies, um, I mean, if they provide or if they sell something they at a very low cost, they need to be really careful about price wars, okay? Because um, maybe they can be accused of unfair competition, okay? Like, for example, eh, I don't know if you remember, well, that was something that happened around the world or at least in the countries that this happened. But, but for example, here in El Salvador, and I remember in Costa Rica as well, eh, when Uber, when Uber started operating, eh, there was a, a lot of, well, I, in Costa Rica, actually, there were, there were many uh, strikes, welcas, the taxis, or protests, okay, from taxi driver, because they didn't, they said that Uber was, you know, they, they were playing unfair. There was unfair competition, right? So in this case, the companies that offer a low cost product, they need to be really careful about price wars. So price wars are all these problems that appear when a, there is a company that has very low cost um, and the rest of the companies cannot compete, right? I don't know, do you remember any other example of companies that have this situation? Can you 
Can you name other examples of companies? Hello. Did you did you go watch TV? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think no, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't remember any other examples. Well, lately, actually, there are a lot of examples of these companies, like I mentioned Uber. Uh, also, let me see. Um, in driver for for taxi for transportation um well those are the ones i know um but also in other in other aspects in other areas right ah another good example very good example is a uh, sheen or uh -huh, sheen or shane como decimos en español sheen. in english is sheen this is a company, a fast a fashion a company, right? Clothes, well, not just clothes, many, many other things. Uh, and many other companies cannot compete with this Shein company, okay? So just giving you some more context about this sentence that you see here, uh, just in case you were not familiar with this idea of price words, okay? Uh, well, after this exercise, do we have any question? Some of you did not participate in this, um, in this exercise, but I hope you could copy the answers so you can ask questions now or later. Let me see. Um, Gilberto, everything is clear for you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Danny? Yes, teacher. Let's see, Gabriela? Yes, teacher. Okay, Israel? You have been quiet today, Israel. Hello. Yes, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see. Um, Hilbert, no. Um, I I just asked Hilberto. Julio, everything clear about these examples? Uh yes, yes. At the moment, yes. Okay, lady Maria Leticia. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, we have also uh, Rebecca, Rolando. Well, Rebecca is the one who participated the most, so I think she got to clarify some ideas, right? And Rolando. Rolando, everything clear for you? Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm asking if everything is clear after doing this exercise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, again, please copy the answers so you can check later also these um, examples. Now we're going to, okay, um, before I, I finish with this ex exercise, uh, for those of you who may have had issues putting together the ideas, don't, don't forget that in English, we have this basic structure. The basic structure of English sentences is, okay, give me a second here. Okay. Okay, the, um, the basic structure is subject, right? Then you have verb, 
complement. Okay. So this is something that uh, sometimes we forget. We have subject, verb, complement. Here in the verb part, remember it's not only the verb sometimes, like in these examples we are uh, making with uh, the expression would rather, the verb would be all these parts, okay? So there are different uh, structures, depending if you are using a modal, if you're using a tense, right? Like simple past, present perfect, etc. So this in this example, all this is considered the verb or the part of the action, right? And then the complement, okay? Just so it is not it is not difficult for you when you have this kind of exercise that you need to put together the sentences. Okay, uh, since you don't have any question, we're going to continue and this will be one of our last activities. Let me see. Um, I'm going to delete this one. Okay, we're going to continue applying this structure. And this time we're going to go to our next activity. In this case is number six. Okay, your turn. Okay, uh, Danny, I need you to help me read uh, the instruction please for this activity. Okay, teacher. Uh, group work. Choose and renewable product service that is satirizing the market. Okay, very good. But before we start the task, I need to check if everybody understands the concept saturating. Saturating. What is to saturate or market saturation? What is that? Let's define that first. Market saturation, what is that? When it's too much of that item. Okay, Israel, great. Market saturation. So we can say when, I'm going to use your words, when there is too much of a product, let's say, in the market, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in other words, in other words, okay, in, now I'm using a terms from the market. So in other words, there is more offer than demand, okay? In other words, there is more offer than demand. Okay, so that's market saturation. So now that we understand that phrase, that term, okay, a, we need to choose a renowned product or service. Okay, what could be an example of a renowned product or service? Renowned means something very popular, okay? Something everybody knows. Give me examples of things that everybody knows, products or services here in El Salvador, for example. Uh, Apple. Apple. Is right now? Uh -huh. yes. yes. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pupusas. <laughs> definitely <laughs> definitely okay so but the idea is that we think of a renowned product or service that is saturating the market so something that is popular but is too popular maybe top too popular that people are not buying it right uh i mean they are not buying it um be, as it should, as it should happen, okay? Um, for example, pupusas, do you think 
Do you think pupusas are saturated in the market? Do we have a market saturation of pupuserias? No. 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 Why not? Uh, because I pre uh, we prefer in, in the morning, in the night, every day. Okay, so it, it's a product, right? That no matter if you have 10 pupuserias in the same neighborhood, in the same colonia, you can go and buy. I mean, all of them uh, sell, sell pupusas, right? Uh, maybe in some cases they are some more expensive or in some cases they are not well prepared. They are not that delicious, right? So, but still, yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to give you ideas on what products could be uh, for this case, right? Like very popular products, but that they are saturating the market, meaning that there are too many that now they are not selling as they should, okay? So that is the first thing. And then you have three questions, okay? So we need to answer the questions based on this product that we that we choose, okay? What effect does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? What strategies are the competitor companies applying to deal with saturation? And what other strategies would you recommend? Okay, so um, in this case, we're going to work uh, in teams, okay? And um, I think I'm going to make pairs so you guys can have the chance to talk more, okay? Uh, discussing these questions and also, well, first, thinking about the product, okay? So let's work in pairs. Um, Okay, let's see. I don't know, Roberto, are you participating? I guess not. I, I think I heard you participate, but I guess not. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, give me a few seconds. I'm making the the pairs. Um let's see, Rolando. Okay, so let's take five minutes to discuss uh, these questions and think about the product, okay? So here we go. Let's see. Sorry, I created extra rooms, so I'm deleting. Okay, here we go. So we have five minutes.
Gabriela, do you have any issue to join the room? Gabriela? Mm. Mm, teacher, the uh, problem national or international? Whatever. It could be okay. international. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or national. Mm -hmm. National. Who puso? Who puso I <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be a product. Remember what I what I told you. It has to be a product that um Apple that has saturated the market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What strategies are the competitor companies applying to deal with saturation? What other strategies would you recommend there? Yes, something mm -hmm. that you have too much that there are many companies that like offer this product and now they need to, to see how they can sell the product, right? Their product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check what your classmates are doing. So see you later. En los super, a, a donde quiera que vaya, a los comedores, restaurantes, solo pollo, ¿verdad? Uy, sí. Al pollo, ¿verdad? Sí, me, ¿cómo es el más barato, dicen? Ahí está que ni... So your product solo. is chicken. Yes. Yes, teacher. We are thinking about chicken. Don Pollo and Pollo Campero. Good point, good good product, good example. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken, right? Mm -hmm. Fried chicken. Okay. Very good. Great. Thank you. So, okay. uh, how do you think they, the brand of Pollo Campero is saturated, saturating the, the, the market, Gilberto? Yes, eh, Don Pollo, su curso, eh, eh, de su cursal de Pollo Campero, eh, en, y en el chicken popular en comedor en Mm. Dynamic of the funny or family or friends, eh, por ejemplo, distracciones, night lady or night, night ladies night, or mm. eh, martes de chero, creo que es, no sé, cosas así diferentes, <laughs> ajá, para poder vender. Ah, ok. O son patrocinadores de conciertos. What is okay. your The National Beer Teacher. Ah, ok. Is this effect in saturation? Is in the quality of the production? Is for producing more? Is Mm, but but quality. Ah, okay, okay. So quantity, they prefer quantity over quality. 
Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They they prefer quantity or that quality. Yes, they prefer quantity over quality. Over. Over quality. Over. Mm -hmm. over. Yes, mm -hmm. over to uh, quality. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, let's keep discussing. Let me check the other groups. Yeah. Hello, how are we doing here? Uh, we are okay. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> no teacher. Es que la veo bien calladitas. <laughs> we are we are trying to to find the words. Do you have a product? Did you think of a product? We think about a uh, a service okay. like beauty salons ah okay mm -hmm. because we think uh, there are a lot of beauty salon mm -hmm. in some case the people try to go to their prefer mm -hmm. in this case the beauty salons try to re reduce the the price or mm -hmm. offer lower prices with with promos okay mm -hmm. e this kind e in that action is like their strat strategy yes their strategy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we are working on that okay well we're going to have to go back to the general room because it's almost time to finish. Okay. okay, and I need to check attendance again. So see you. Okay. Hmm, ¿qué pasó? Creo que me quedé aquí pegada. <laughs> Aisladas. <laughs> Sí, lo que pasa es que esto está lento. Ok. Okay, everyone, I know we didn't have enough time. Some of you were still discussing the product, okay? Uh, but, well, it's almost, it's time to, to, to finish the class right now. But tomorrow, we are going to dedicate the first 10 minutes of the class to finish up with this information, okay? So I will be asking you to share the information you check with your classmates and also um, for you to also put your ideas together uh, with more time, okay? So today we started the task, but we will finish it tomorrow, okay? So let me just take attendance one more time and then we leave, okay? So let's see, Danny Anthony, Siwensa Aventura, Present teacher. Great. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. 
present teacher. Eh, Jose Andrés Martínez Pérez is a listener today. Eh, Jose Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Great. Eh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. He's a listener. Um, let me see here. Rodrigo. Mm, okay. Let's see. Um, oh, oh, okay. Maria Leticia Ralejeño González. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca. He's a listener. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. He was a listener. Um, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. She's a listener today. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Excellent. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a nice Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.